Hi guys, this is Fenchi and today I want to show you three relighting techniques you can use in your color grading. Because I know how frustrating it can be to see your grade so flat on the frame and don't know what to do about it. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. In this tutorial, we're gonna use power windows to relight our environment, HDR palette to relight our faces and magic mask to make our character pop. Before we are jumping into the tutorial, I am giving a free lot you can use in DaVinci Wagamut. Click in the link in the description to get it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content on color grading. And in this channel, we are 10,000 guys and I can't thank you enough for your support. Thank you so much. And let's jump to the tutorial, guys. So here we are, guys, in our timeline. And I'm going to show you three techniques that I use consistently to relight my footage. I won't use in this the relight effect. I don't want to talk about a tool that I don't really master that much. I prefer to show you my real techniques that I use consistently that are actually with Power Windows and Magic Mask. So we're just going to jump right in in the first technique and the first technique is something that I do consistently in my grading. I always deliver a grading with this which is a vignette. So a vignette is supposed to recreate what all lenses would do on an image which is getting the corner dark but the middle staying quite bright to have a sort of a focus on your character and I like to do it while I have a subject in my frame, but also following a bit of the light in my footage. So just for the context, as usual, I am in a DaVinci white gamut timeline color space and output color space Rec7 and then gamma 2.4. So then like I go from a Sony S gamut 3 Cine to DaVinci white gamut and we output in DaVinci white gamut Rec7 and then gamma 2.4. Okay, now that you have the context, let's do the vignette. So, for the vignette, I always do it at the end of my note tree. So, this is a grade just like for you to see the effect of it because if I disable the grade, it's essentially just to enhance the footage. But I always do my vignette at the end of my grade because I want my vignette to take my grade in consideration and take all my adjustments in consideration. So then I would create a node right after my parallel node or if for example I have a look I would do it at the end here and we're gonna go to our power window and we're gonna go to this circle and we're just gonna create a window around her. What I like to do is that I like to just recreate the shape of the light. Over here it's actually quite obvious that the light is hitting this way on her face because you can see that there is a shadow over here and the lightest part of her face is over here so then the light is coming this way. So I like to do something, a shape that recreates the light that is on set and I really like to feather my power window really much and I can just create a point in my curve and go up or what I like to do is that you can go to editable spline and in editable spline it will create a very nice curve head which I really like and so then it will create a better transition in your curve so I like to make her a bit more bright in the center and what I do is that I right click, I create an outside node, add a node, add outside. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do the same, select the highest point, but I'm going to go down. And what essentially it's doing, it's going to create dark corner around her. So you see why I use outside node. It's because I created the shape in the node 5 over here and by creating the outside node then I'm taking the contrary of my node 5 in node 6 which is everything that is around my window and so then I can create a very nice vignette over here so you can see this is without the vignette and this is with the vignette without the vignette 
and with the vignette and it's really helping our eye to be focused on her but also to emphasize the light that is coming to her face over here so you see before and after really lovely so this is my first technique which is vignettes with power window my other technique that I really want to show you is also still with windows but using the HDR palette because I like to use HDR palette to relight the face of my character. So most of the time I can have some commercials where I'm going to have a request from the client which would be to brighten the face of my talent and sometimes you know like if you brighten the face with the curves or if you brighten the face with gain sometimes it's not natural and I'm sure you experienced it so what I like to do it's always I create a node at the end of my node tree because it is the same I would like this relight effect to take in consideration the grade that I've done and so I'm just gonna create this and call that face and I'm gonna go to my power windows again and create a window so if for example we are analyzing this footage I'm gonna have a shadow that is on this side of her face and let's say the client doesn't like this shadow and would like to have this shadow a bit more lifted so what I can do is that I can put my power window over here you know just around this area of shadow and I can go to my HDR palette if you are in your primary color wheels it's just right here at HDR palette and I will go to light so in light I can raise the light that is happening on her face and you can see that I have a very nice result that is happening very natural if I want to have a more tremendous effect I can go to shadows over here so I'm just going to show you the window I'm going to go to shadows because the shadows are way more taken in this selection than for example the light so I can go to the shadows and I can raise my shadows and you can see that it raised in a very very natural fashion so this is before this is after I can go even more can go pretty pretty far and this is before this is after and I find that the result is very natural we can't even feel it so this is my second technique the third technique and which is the last is actually a technique that I use to make my character pop out from the frame and so for this it's very simple you're gonna create a magic mask you can now create a magic mask at the end of your node tree before you couldn't because DaVinci Resolve was asking to retract every time you were doing an adjustment before your magic mask they just corrected this matter and so it's really freeing because then I can put my magic mask at the end of my node tree so I can create a magic mask by this I will just go to this magic mask over here and I will just toggle my mask overlay and so here I will know what I'm selecting in my selection I will select my talent over here you can see tech I select my talent I go to better you know I select a bit more the skin etc etc okay I can track if I want what I can do is that over here I will put the invert mask and so the invert mask would take everything in consideration around my talent and what I can do is that I can just go to curves and I'm just going to off my editable spline because I just want to go down with my curve and you can see that I can make my character a more popping out from the frame not so much maybe something like this to keep it natural but this is before and this is after and so I really like to use this technique because sometimes if I have a very flat image I can recreate this feeling of a 3d dancer image which really helps the viewer to read the image better so you can see it's quite tremendous this was before this is after I really love that and you see you can play the magic mask everything is fine lovely so this is all for me guys I hope that was 
insightful and that you learned something today also i wanted to keep it short because i think it's good to have a short video once in a while i just realized that i made a mistake in the name of my project i wanted to put relighting techniques and i put e-lighting techniques uh, so i'm sorry for that if you want more content on color grading subscribe to the channel we are 10,000. thank you so much guys again thank you so much and i see you for next video see you guys